A march in downtown Huntsville tonight will commemorate the national reckoning over police violence that was sparked by the murder of George Floyd one year ago. The event will begin at 6 p.m. in the parking lot of St. John Am Church with speakers, singers and performers. Demonstrators will then march south on Church Street to Big Spring Park for a candlelight vigil. Organizers say the march will last 9 minutes and 29 seconds, the length of time Floyd was pinned under the knee of Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin on May 25, 2020. It's to commemorate the anniversary of the worldwide outcry for policing reform, said Angela Curry, executive director of United Women of Color, a Huntsville nonprofit that works to promote social justice and empower women and girls. We thought the way to honor George Floyd would be to encourage people to get civically engaged. United Women of Color is sponsoring the event along with the church and the Huntsville chapter of Black Lives Matter. Curry said the event will be family friendly. Huntsville police approved a permit for the event and will briefly close the portion of Church Street between the church and Big Spring Park while demonstrators march, said Lieutenant Jesse Sumlin, a police department spokesman. The route passes through the intersections of Holmes and Clinton Avenues. The march comes as the Huntsville Police Department is under intense scrutiny. The Huntsville Police Citizens Advisory Council last month issued a report criticizing the police department's handling of two local racial justice protests that were sparked by Floyd's death. Two of the protests in Huntsville last summer ended with police using tear gas and other riot gear to break up crowds of demonstrators on the Courthouse Square and in Big Spring Park. Since then, local activists have continued to call for accountability and changes to policing in the city. Just over two weeks ago, Huntsville officer William Ben Darby was convicted of murder for shooting and killing Jeff Parker, a suicidal man. Then just last week, the family of Crystal Ragland, an army veteran who was suffering from PTSD when two Huntsville police officers shot and killed her, filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city and the officers. During last summer's protests, demonstrators chanted Ragland's name and called for accountability for her death. George Floyd's murder shed a spotlight on the pervasiveness of police brutality experienced in communities all across America, said Angela Whitlock, an organizer of tonight's march, in a news release. This commemoration honors the social implications of George Floyd's murder while encouraging civic engagement in advocating for police reform in Alabama.